we have to watch first killers uh pov he plays the falcons which is all the players on your screen right there this is game three i believe in the uh, rlcs upper bracket group play uh it's right before playoffs anyways first killer has an insane series i'd say he's the mvp of the whole series aj played very well the last game first two games uh i thought the whole team played good i mean everyone just played great Civic already a free shot on net Maybe take a look at this uh, Falcons defense because this is the game when they really started falling apart, I feel like. So typical goes out, first killer passes to him, and the counter is just, wow. He, he flips nice and early and gets the shot over. Ahmed's not back, and Okad cannot get the challenge down. Back to first killer, though. 1-0 in the first 20 seconds of the game. Pretty impressive stuff. I like this bubbly design, too, that first killer's wearing. He wore this the whole entire series. Typical, obviously, in that Ghostbusters car. I think he was still in it for this game. He is. Did he wear it the whole series? I'm not sure if he wore it the very last game. He definitely wore it the first couple of games, first few games. But yeah, it might have been just the whole series. First killer not getting any space there though. A nice and early challenge from Falcons. I believe it was TRK who struck first. It just seemed like Falcons were stuck on defense for a majority of this series. They could never get the offense going, never get the passes going. And that's something that FaZe did very well. They, they played incredible defense as well. They shut down everything. I mean, not only did Falcons not pass much, but, like, they couldn't pass. And right here, we have another breakup from first killer. Just, we got to appreciate the speed here. Typical with the first challenge breaks up one passing play. One person back. First killer turns off that challenge. Beats Ocala to the ball. Nobody behind Ocala. And not only that, not only did he beat Ocala to the challenge, but it's on net. So, Ocala maybe not playing the best third man defense. Could turn around and play safer. Could wait. But then he'd be taking a one-on-one -on -one from first killer, which is very difficult. And just right here, this is great trust. This is great passing. This is a beautiful kickoff play. And we're going to see how. AJ 50s it to the left side. Civico pushes up for this ball. He knows he can beat TRK, so he passes a mid. And first killer reads even further in the play. Knows that Civico on the wall is going to be able to pass that mid. Pushes up immediately off the kickoff. Goes mid. Puts it on net. Beautiful passing play. Phase up 3-0 in this ball game. It just looks so good. Offensively, defensively, like they look like a world championship team, world championship team in this matchup. Great job exposing the backboard from first killer. No shot from Zipico though. He may have gone faked by one of the Falcons players. Thought he was gonna hit it, so he was waiting downfield. But it's all G. Stuff like that. It's rather, it's better to play stuff like safer when uh you think someone's gonna have the touch, but Sometimes people just don't get that touch you're expecting. And let's see how first killer rotates here. He goes all the way back, collecting that pa the pads, the whole entire horseshoe. Waits to shoot. I love the patience there. I feel like that's another thing Falcons really didn't do well. He really walks a dog. This is just so textbook. I'm going back like a couple seconds. Three, four, five, six. Six pads. He has so much boost. Civical kind of fakes that pass mid, which actually bought first killer a lot of time to take his time with the ball. That's why he's able to just kind of walk the dog, hit it off the backboard very late. Uh, and yeah, it's just an exposed backboard at point blank range. Very easy for FaZe to finish that off. But we'll see if Adam, or, uh, AJ can pass it to first. He does. First can't shoot it yet, doesn't have an angle. So he just plays it to the corner. AJ, an early challenge. See if AJ stays downfield for this. First killer actually has ball and boost. Wow. That is insane. Ocalad in trouble here, though. He seems like he's like stuck on defense as third man a lot in very tough situations. Just uh, TRK maybe going too forward on this play. He probably shouldn't die for this ball, especially on zero boost. He kind of realizes it really late. Um, he gave Ocalad really no backup, just jumping so early. Didn't really, it's just no defense from the Falcons here. Just another play from uh, Ocala that's so difficult to defend, especially on zero boost, 20. It's just not not much you can do there. But once again, great offense from uh, FaZe Clan. 5-0, and it's not even halftime yet in this game. So FaZe, or first killer, challenges first. Typical, the follow-up. Good 50 there, enables him to be able to follow up. Very important to do minor things like that throughout the whole entirety of the game. Allows you to keep possession of the ball. 
and keep the flow of the game going so you can grab boost rotate whatnot first killer hits it downfield and aj's actually down there to receive i love that from him he doesn't rotate back he sees first has the hit so he stays down there easily able to turn it into a passing play almost aj hits it down and first can't follow but that's all right he just lets ocala hit it away he fake challenges it challenges it later and it's just great defense from phase all around offense isn't really that bad from uh falcons they just can't really seem to get that that possession that they need to stay up on offense first is going to stay in front of this with the little boost he has typical able to follow up plays the 50 and then aj is able to follow up but ocala getting a nice 50 there Ahmad a chance Beautiful cut from Sipical though. TRK did have a chance off the Amad backward pass. That was like their first kind of real opportunity of the game, maybe. Definitely don't see that often where it gets in front of the phases net, especially in this game. Throughout the series, but especially this game. First is able to hit it downfield. Sipical is just kind of looking for boost down there. Can't really receive the ball because uh, Falcons is already up for it. Typical follow-up here, though. Stuff like that is absolutely beautiful. It's so important. This is what NRG didn't really do well the other day, which I think is, like, important to look at. First hitting this off his back wall, and typical, instead of saying back post and waiting for the blue team to hit it back at the orange team, etc., this is what FaZe does. Typical pushes out for the first cut, first killer hit and beats Adam out of the ball. Something as simple as that is so important. And although Cal is first to the play, Ahmad stuck on RN, TRK is kind of like pushed up on, I say RN, but FaZe Clan's end. And it's just very important to get follow-ups like that. Trust your team, get the passes to get the clear, all that good stuff. Defense definitely lacking though. Too pushed up is what the issue was with this play. AJ with a great fake challenge there too. But yeah, TRK is also very pushed up. And now 6-0. One minute left in this game. First killer probably has a lot of points by now. Seems like he's been involved in pretty much everything. See how he deals with this. Waits for Ahmad to hit it. First flicks it to himself. Low boost. See how he plays it. He just lets him hit it. Let's him get a challenge that goes right to his team. He doesn't need a 50. He doesn't need to shoot, pass, anything. Just let the other team hit it into his team. You know he has someone waiting behind first. Pretty sure it was AJ. And he can just do something with the free ball that was given to him. Sometimes the best play is not touching the ball at all. First is the flip. Nobody there to receive. He kind of tilts his camera down too to see. But it's fine. Better play safe. You're up six goals. And it actually does end up being a goal. So maybe not like maybe that follow-up was important there. It's funny that uh that, that was the play that ended up being a goal. Maybe the offense kind of let up for a second there, and that's why Falcons was able to score. But a good play from them. For sure. A beautiful game out of phase, though. I'm not surprised they won this series. I was, after game like one, obviously, I was like, dang, phase uh, clan won this first game. And then just the whole series went on and on, and they just kept scoring and playing incredible defense. And, you know, they just ended up taking a 10 shots for first. Only two for Falcons. Only two. TRK registering zero, Ocalid zero. First on his own, four for ten. That is disgusting. AJ with 96, but the next game, the last game of the series, I'm pretty sure he had like 700 points of his own. So do not discredit AJ. Uh, him and Civical both played phenomenal in the series. I just went to the game that first killer scored like almost 900 points and said, I got to look at this replay review. See what happened. Hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. It's incredible to watch this team play. If they play this way, I think they will win the whole entire thing. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's what they keep doing. All right. Leave a like on the video. Comment your thoughts below. And subscribe. Almost at 1,000 subs. Love y'all. Have a great day. Peace.